with meteorologist Rob Nucatola. Well, good morning, everybody, and happy Friday. Temperatures going to hold steady pretty close to 50 for a lot of us for a good long while today. Now, I still think we can get some areas way up into the 50s, but we're going to need a little help and we need to clear out some of that cloud cover for it to happen. And I think that's going to be slow going today. And then once the clouds do start to clear, we've got cold coming our way for tomorrow morning, colder for Sunday morning, so be ready for it. Nothing much on the radar anymore. Maybe an isolated sprinkle left, but I think a lot of that is gone. All the sloppy weather's up over parts of eastern Tennessee and Kentucky and through the Carolina Mountains. For us, it's about this stubborn cloud cover. And once this last bit of this trough of lower pressure slides away and we get some help from the upper part of the atmosphere, we should start to clear out. I see a lot of sunshine in store for the weekend, but I don't see much warming in store for the weekend. We're at 50 right now in Tallahassee. We're at 48 in Thomasville. We're at 49 degrees in Valdosta, and we're going to find all those numbers pretty close to the same two or three. It's 48 in Marianne. It's 49 in Bainbridge. It's 50 in Madison. It's 51 in Lafayette. So we're definitely seeing a lot of similar temperatures. That breeze starting to perk up a little bit out of the northwest, and it's going to be noticeable today and tomorrow both, and that'll make it be a little cooler than it is. The story is all going to be about the clouds for us as that wintry weather pushes further away and eventually as higher pressure moves by to our north, we're going to keep the skies clear all weekend. Lots of sunshine, but it's going to really have a tough time warming things up with this cooler air in place. Now, I don't expect this to really anchor itself and stick around for several days. Instead, it's going to slide out into the Atlantic and we'll start looking out to our south and west, maybe for our next chance to get wet by Monday, Tuesday but that's still kind of iffy. So as Futurecast shows us, it's all about patience today. It may take till 8, 9, 10, 11 o'clock tonight to get rid of all that cloud cover. And once we do, that's when we'll start to notice a little bit more cooler. I think the cold sticks around throughout the day tomorrow, even with sunshine. Those high temperatures are going to struggle, and Sunday morning is likely going to be the coldest one before we start to get a little surge of warmer air again for early next week. And we'll start to wonder about the next push of cold air that looks like it's coming this way for the end of next week. We've got a lot of time before we get there. On the Gulf today, small craft owners, operators use some caution. Still a bit breezy, and it's going to be that way tomorrow, too. We'll put the winds today out of the northwest 12 to 22, and the seas like 2 to 4, maybe up to 5 feet. The last of the low tides set to get going in just a couple of minutes. Then we switch back to high tides later on this morning and this afternoon. It's 40s, it's 50s. I'll leave a small chance for a few sprinkles in the forecast, but I think we're all going to stay dry. Lots of clouds for a good long while today. If we get some clearing, the upper 50s are possible. If the clouds stay extra stubborn, we're not getting that warm. Tonight it's more mid 30s, so becoming clear and cold. But remember, tomorrow morning, not the cold one. That's Sunday morning when temperatures were expected to drop down near or below freezing. The afternoons this weekend likely staying in the 50s, and tomorrow, that little bit of a breeze is going to make it feel even cooler. All right, thank you very much, Rob.